not a huge fan of this highway, honestly, on a motorcycle so far. At first time, it's kind of, you know, unnerving. Second time, it's uh, unnerving. Third time, the cop might hit you. Fourth time, the it's unnerving. And then it just gets better from there. So just wanted to speak for a couple minutes, going for a highway ride. Uh, a couple of friends I met from Daytona, uh, which actually the ride day Daytona from Cocoa Beach. And uh, that was a Sky Power Sports ride. It was very enjoyable. I had a lot of fun. I adjust my mirrors real quick, make sure everything's good, brakes and everything have been good. Got to hook a left up here on the street. So let's get over to the left. Perfect. Um, it's going to be a nice, quiet, calm ride, no rush. Taking the highway though, just so I can be a little more express in that, uh, have that effect. But I want to get there in a timely manner and I don't want to rush too much. I'm not a huge fan of the highway, but these guys have been riding for a couple hours and I don't want to put them waiting too much. Um, fun ride, meet them out, have some food, uh, enjoy ourselves and then go back home. Maybe even take some back roads on the back where I go home. Uh, maybe I'll show them some back roads. Depends on how much energy they have. Let's see. Either way, it's going to be a fun time. Uh, heading out to the highway. I'll take some highway shots. Should be a fun time out there. Hopefully I don't see anything too crazy. We're going to be taking the 408, the, 4, the 417 to the 408 I-4. Or sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. That's the way it is. And then we're going to take it out to the more touristy area of Orlando, which is known, I mean, at least I know it as International Drive, which is the area around there, which is the, one of the principal streets uh, for tourist attractions. And these guys aren't really from this area, so they don't, um, <clears throat> they don't know to stay away from a place like that, honestly. As far as on a motorcycle and a Floridian, a Central Floridian, it's it's really hectic. There's a lot of people going back and forth who don't know where they're going. Uh, it can be a dangerous situation. Um, but if you keep your head, you uh, maintain your posture, you cover your brakes, you're checking all your areas, you should be good, man. You should be kosher. You shouldn't have any issues. Or at least if you do, you can minimize any sort of... Uh, damages <laughs> let's put it that way I guess whatever they may be if you do have an incident um, I did put this uh, Outback Motor Tech cage on this bike recently about in the last week actually I just came back from Tennessee and um, I was able to bolt it on in about two hours two and a half hours by myself uh, my neighbor Jim came over he's always a good time telling me some stories and whatnot and you know so it took a little longer than expected but it was honestly not that bad of an install um, and as far as weight on the cage itself or on the bike itself it adds about 30 pounds to the bike I really don't notice any difference at all the weight is relatively low it's close to the bike honestly uh, with the weight that I've shed in the past year and change, it's uh, double that. Or sorry, <laughs> I've doubled that uh, as far as weight loss. So uh, it's uh, let's wait. And okay, we're good. Just wanted to make sure nobody else was cutting in there. Anybody behind me? Nope, nobody behind me. Um, so the cage is really. I mean, I, I don't notice it. The crash bars themselves, I got the Ultimate Protection Max Combo. Um, the fit and finish is gorgeous. The actual product itself is gorgeous. I really can't complain. Uh, I haven't taken it down yet with the cage or the crash bars on it, but um, I don't hope to. But if I do, I know that I'm in a better place than if I didn't have it. Um, let's go ahead and see what's going around here. And we're on the highway. Sounds good. Mr. Ultima, you're staying there? Okay, sounds good. You can stay there. 
Um, but they do look quite gorgeous. I do like the crinkle black finish. It's uh, It looks very premium. I believe it's powder coated. Um, and even so, with uh, installing the bars, you know, you kind of have to get a little rough with it. And uh, I didn't have any issues with the um, the fit and finish in that sense. Uh, the only problem that I did have with the installation was honestly because you're fitting aftermarket parts with aftermarket parts. I have an alt rider clutch arm extender, and because of that, it has like an aluminum block that kind of slips over the clutch arm. Let's see if I can get into the middle lane. And that aluminum block, it has a little uh, Allen head at the top, and that Allen's head has a very proud head on the top. And that just barely touches the bars if you don't have it adjusted just accordingly. So I took a little uh, Dremel to the top of the head, notched off a slice off of it, um, and that was it. You know, readjusted it all together. I, I thought my, uh, well, I found out because I initially started riding the bike and the clutch arm was black in the cage and it wasn't letting the clutch fully disengage. And I was like, uh oh, how could it be that out of spec the clutch? The only thing I've changed is this. So there's gotta be something with the clutch arm and that's what it was. But honestly, it was my own doing. It's a uh, not a fault at all by uh, Outback Motor Tech. It's uh, because I have aftermarket parts on aftermarket parts and nothing completely is 100% bolt on when you're dealing with uh, a little bit of a custom, not a custom build, but I would say a personalized build, something that's OEM plus. And that's kind of what I'm going for with this bike is OEM plus. bit of central florida just passing right now through downtown well lake underhill area crossing on the 408 going towards i4 you see a little bit of the historic the airplanes and stuff and they have a little airport over there i believe that's the uh orlando regional orlando business regional regional business orlando something like that it's a little tiny airport it's right next to 50 50 heads down onto which is colonial all the way down into downtown and basically I'm just taking the reroute around it on the highway. Uh, it is a pretty little route. We're going to cross over the bridge in a couple seconds and uh, there's a little airplane off to the right and so you know the bridge is pretty, the airplane's pretty. It's a little bit of Florida, a little bit of central Florida. You can ride on that lake if you want to. There's a dock on the other side bring a jet ski or a small boat but unfortunately going under the little bridge here is kind of tough so you have to have a really low boat a jet ski or a canoe or something like that a john boat uh, that can go under let's see there's that sh there's the plane another motorcyclist there's that plane that we were talking about or i was talking about good stuff good times we're coming up to i4 in two miles I don't want to be overzealous. This guy's, I think, trying to get over, or maybe he has his flashers on. No, he's trying to get over, so I gotta watch out. Let's see if he's even paying attention. Okay, I'm gonna pass him. I'm not a huge fan of this highway, honestly, on a motorcycle so far. At first time, it's kind of, you know, unnerving. Second time, it's uh, unnerving. Third time, the cop might hit you. Fourth time, the it's unnerving. And then it just gets better from there, you know? Let's go ahead. I don't see anybody off to the right. Let's get on to the right. There we go. Walking on over. We're not going to Rosalind. We are going to I-4. But as you can see, there's a lot of traffic, a lot of people. I'd rather stay out of the jumbo of going in and out. Take my time. I'm in no hurry. Ooh, nice 350Z. Gorgeous little, uh, I guess you can say a titanium-esque-ish. Diet Titanium. Uh, 
Oh, this is an old link. Yep, that's where I want to go. Cool. I-4. We're all good. See? They like to cut in right at the last second. We're good. We're right in the aisle. Cutting through downtown now. Very pretty. It's looked the same or similar for the past, you know, 30 years or so. It hasn't really changed too much. A couple new reparations, some paint on some buildings, but for the most part it's the same. Let's cut off here over to the right. Cool. Oh, that's the Dr. Phillips Center. That's the Performing Arts Center. Orlando Utilities Commission, which I don't think they're on. I don't think they're working anymore. Whoops. That was a mistake on my part. Whoop, whoop. Oh, this is pretty. I haven't been up here on a motorcycle, much less one on a motorcycle with a camera. Oh, my. I'm not a big fan of heights, I'm going to be honest. But this is pretty. I can get used to this. I can do this. I think somebody might want to cut in front of me. Let's be a little more deliberate then. Exit 75, over oh 75B, I can remember that, 75B, 75B. The fourth gear is a lot more peppy on the highway, fifth gear is appropriate, sixth gear feels like a dog. Uh, especially in a situation like this where you just need to be constantly in the torque band. Now if I'm out on a back road or something like that, you know, and I can cruise up to 75 miles an hour, six gear is perfect. You know, it, it has enough passing power. You can get up and move around in six gear. But on a highway like this, fifth, and even more so fourth, it just feels more appropriate. Much more appropriate. Let me see, 4.9 miles, 75B if I remember, yep. There we go, light turn green, let's get moving. Nobody coming into my lane, nobody coming in from over there. Check all the positions, who's on your right, who's on your left, anybody coming around, that guy sneaking in, nobody from over there, good, we're good in the front, yep, 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 we're good. My kosher, oh. There's the boot barn, never mind. I gotta make a right up here. Let's make a right at the boot barn. Here we go. Got to the boot barn. Wasn't too bad at all.